Jumbo. Hello, my name is David, and today I'm telling you the story of the hummingbird. Siku moja moto mkali ulibuka katika msitu. Eneo kubwa la msitu ghafla likatetezwa na moto mkali wa mwituni. Kwa hofu wanyama wote walikimbia nyumba zao na kukimbia nje ya msitu. Walipofika pembeni ya kijito waligeuka kutazama moto. Walijisikia kukatishwa tamaa na kukosa nguvu waliomboleza uharibifu wa nyumba zao kila mmoja wao alifikiri hakuna kitu wangeweza kufanya juu ya moto isipokuwa ndege mmoja mdogo aitwaye hummingbird au ndege mvubaji kiumbe huyu mdogo zaidi aliamua kufanya kitu aliingia ndani ya kijito na kuchukua matone kadhaa ya maji na kwenda moja kwa moja msituni na kuinyunyizia juu ya moto kisha akarudi kwenye kijito na akafanya hivyo tena na tena wanyama wengine wote walitazama bila kuamini wengine hata walijaribu kumkatisha tamaa yule ndege kwa maoni kama usijisubue ni mwingi mno wewe ni mdogo sana mabawa yako yata waka mdomo wako ni mdogo sana ni tone tu huwezi kuzima hii moto na wanyama waliposimama kuzunguka wakidharau juhudi za ndege huyu mdogo ndege huyo aligundua jinsi walivyoonekana kukosa tumaini na huzuni. Alafu mmoja wa wanyama alipiga kelele na kutoa changamoto kwa yule ndege mvubaji. Kwa sauti kejeri, unafikiri unafanya nini? Na yule ndege bila kupoteza muda au kupoteza kipigo aliangalia nyuma na kusema, "Ninafanya kile this story was told often by Dr. Wangari Mathai, the lady who started the Green Belt Movement. When she saw the effect of deforestation that was having on her homeland of Kenya, she planted nine samplings in her backyard, starting the Green Belt Movement. Dr. Madai enlisted the help of local women to plant more trees, including my own mother. And in under 30 years, 30 million trees were planted across 30 African countries, improving the lives of countless people. She was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2004. Dr. Wangare Madai was like the hummingbird and proved that small actions can lead to big results. I hope you have enjoyed the story and it has inspired you to be the hummingbird.